Hello everyone! Now this is amazing. Your 3DS can now flawlessly emulate a Virtual Boy. It's not that the Virtual Boy wasn't emulated before, you can play its games on a PC or a VR headset. But the big difference here is how the games will look. The Virtual Boy used a single line of pixels to generate a display with 384 by 224 pixels. And there's a set of mirrors that will flicker this line of pixels to create an image. It's similar to those spinning LED fan displays. Because of that, the image on the real console is quite unique. I had a chance to test a real Virtual Boy once at a video game museum. And this was the best picture I could get through that tiny window. The flickering is not visible on real life, and the image is much sharper. I wanted to show you a better result of how the picture looks like, but this is the best footage I could find. And here, on this boot screen, you can see how sharp the pixels are. Because of that, nothing else can get close to the visuals of playing on the real console. Emulators won't give you the same visual experience, as the screen resolution is much higher. Also, the best way to see the 3D graphics is to do Anaglyph 3D, and that will completely ruin the red and black visuals. You can add shaders to get close to an LCD display, but still, it won't be the same thing. And when playing on VR headsets, the visuals will also be very different. You won't get those perfectly square pixels that the original system has. But the 3DS is another story. The small LCD of the 3DS will produce perfectly square pixels when the 3D mode is activated. And thanks to that, you can have the closest visual experience to the real console. The Virtual Boy controller was a bit weird with two D-pads, but thankfully you can use the second pad on the touchscreen. And if you have a new 3DS XL, the second D-pad will be emulated on the second stick. And check this out, it's emulated so perfectly that when the battery on the 3DS is low, you'll get the warning on the Virtual Boy game as well. And if you don't like the red and black colors, you can change it to any color you want. The games available kinda suck, but after playing Virtual Boy Wario Land, I was impressed with the quality of this game. The animations are high quality, the resolution is great too. This is what a Wario Land looks on a Game Boy Color, and this is how it looks on a Virtual Boy. The 3D effects are very good too. The 3DS perfectly emulates the 3D depth of the original system. And if you stop to think about it, the resolution of the original 3DS screen almost perfectly matches the one on the Virtual Boy. It seems that Nintendo created the 3DS with Virtual Boy compatibility in mind, but they never managed to make it happen. Also, there's a huge lack of 2D games on the console from their part. I really, really wish that the Virtual Boy succeeded, even though it only has red and black graphics. The resolution and processing power really compensates for the lack of color. And the initial games also weren't that enticing. Can you imagine if we had a Zelda game on this quality? Or even a Metroid game with 3D effects? It could definitely save this console from failure. Sure, it had a lot of concerns about headaches and vision damage, and the manuals were filled with those warnings. But so was the 3DS, and the 3DS succeeded. And that's it for this video. If you have a 3DS, I highly recommend trying this emulator. It will change your perception on the Virtual Boy for sure. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.